So today I wanted to share with you how as a paperless student, I read or listen to a PDF text article while I'm taking notes in a different app. Check out this tech tip in two minutes. Hey friends, I'm Tabaldo on Tech, AKA the Paperless Professor. I'm a professor and I'm a doctoral student and I share tech tips and resources for teachers and students who wanna be paperless or just learn more about ed tech. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning friend, thanks for coming back. Check out this video where I talk about Speechify and Notability and how I use them together to take notes. How do I listen to long journal articles using Speechify and annotate them using Notability? Well, here you can see side by side, I'm using Speechify here on my iPhone and I'm using Notability on my iPad and I can click just exactly where I want to start. I'll just double click up here and hit play. And I follow along on my iPad. Just as previously noted, a number of studies have been conducted on culturally responsive teaching pedagogy. Gay, 2010, Kong, Sa, Lark, and what Johnson, 2007, Weaver, 2009, in an effort to understand strategies teachers use to help their culturally diverse students learn without devaluing students' cultural beliefs. This is paramount to developing culturally responsive school leaders and curricula. School leaders, in turn, are responsible for ensuring that their teachers are culturally responsive. And that the vision... So you can see that I can, I read, I listen fast, um, and I can slow that down here, obviously. But right around between 350 and 400 really works for me. And what I like is that I can just pause and go back and write my notes and do what I need to do. And you can see that I can do that really easily. I've tried using Speechify on my iPad while I'm note taking. It doesn't work very well because Speechify does not work in the side by side mode on an iPad, which would be really nice if I could follow along visually and have these kind of in two screens. But so in this case, I have to use two different uh, devices, but it works well for me. I hope that was helpful. Yes, I do use my phone and my iPad as part of this workflow. That just works for me. I tried using it all on my iPad. It was fine, but I had a hard time pausing because I have to go back and forth because right now Speechify does not allow split screen view, which is a real problem. I hope they do an update in the future and then I can use just one device. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tech tip in two minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other tech tip in two videos and I'll see you back here on the next one.